Hello, welcome to Stereo Tech. Today, after I have done some sort of quick unboxing about these I guess Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 model, we're just gonna test in um, yeah how exciting these Samsung A5 will be. All right, so just keep on watching, and I'm just gonna set this mobile phone up and ready for you to see. And yeah, just keep on watching. There you go. We have the Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 in front of us now. And this is actually the new mid-range flagship of Samsung that has been re released recently, January 2017. You can actually get it for £369 if you are in UK, 30,000 rupees if you are in India, and also for almost $400 if you want to buy it in USA and also um, 20,000 pesos if you're in the Philippines. Color available are peach cloud, blue mist, black sky and golden sand which basically color gold. The A5 2017 model dimension is pretty much quite decent size. Um, for someone who doesn't like a massive smartphone, it feels really premium, it feels comfortable. Um, in my hand at the moment so it is a it has a 5.2 inches screen with a total dimension of 5.75 by 2.81 inches so if we compare that to a Samsung um, Galaxy S7 Edge so Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is kind of a little bit bigger than this A5 2017 model. The thickness itself is not surprisingly at all. It is just a 7.9 millimeter. Okay. It, it also have the Samsung signature screen of Super AMOLED capacitive touchscreen with 16 million color, which makes the phone looks premium than the a5 2016 model. It also has the Corning Gorilla Glass screen. So as you can see, so front and back with pretty much the same with built quality of Samsung S7. And to make it more different or really really different from last year model, Samsung made it as IP68 certified so meaning it is a dust proof and water resistant over 1.5 meter for 30 minutes it also carries carrying the new system of having a fingerprint sensor which enabled the samsung pay so pretty much new with the uh, samsung in terms of the screen resolution, it has 1080p by 1920 pixel with 424 ppi pixel density. Okay. And let's talk about the internal parts before we look into the best part of this phone. A5 2017 will be loaded with Android 6 version. So it's surprisingly, it's not the newest Android that we have, um, although it has been released recently. I could have, you know, I thought it has the uh, Nougat as the operating system version, but it's not disappointed. It's not preloaded with new Android and Nougat, though the actual system looks like the Nougat style. But surprisingly, they use Echinos 7880 octa-core as the processor, which is pretty impressive for the mid-range phone like this. It runs from 1.9 gigahertz, and internally, it has a built-in 32 gigabytes of storage and can be expanded up to 256 gigabytes through micro SD card. It has 3 gig of RAM as well, which is pretty impressive as the Samsung S7 has 4 gig of RAM. But the cost of the Samsung S7 is quite a lot than the price of this phone. 
to make things more really really exciting this a5 2017 model carries 16 megapixel camera front and back so it does have that so you can just switch that like this it take that selfie okay pretty good Yeah, it has a 1.9 aperture, which which is good also for a low light photography, and it has some sort of different settings from the, you know, the um, Samsung Galaxy S7. There you go. Though it has 15, um, though it has 16 megabyte uh, megapixel. Um, as a camera front and back, however, it can only take a 1080p resolution. It's a bit shame it's not 4K, but you can take photographs up to 4000 uh, pixel. It also carrying 3000 milliampere battery, which can be used up to 12 hours of usage in terms of the port. It has 3.5 millimeter jack for earphone. Of course, it still have that and also what I like about this new phone, it has a USB-C and that is the updated, you know, port with all the uh, new gadget at the moment. So that is the USB-C. Um, I would think that this is the first phone or first Samsung that has USB-C aside from, you know, Note 7 that didn't make a success. All right, so that's a that's the um, Galaxy A5 2017 model, and if you wanna um, look on um, how this mobile phone compared to other mobile phones like the Samsung Galaxy S7 or like iPhone or whatnot, I'm just gonna I will do more testing about it. I'll do speed tests and a camera test as well in the future. So if you have any question, just give me a shout in the comment below. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. All right, thank you for watching and bye bye.